Yeah, like, I wasn't never just thinking music, about right? battle. Not rap. battle. You was already into the music. I scene. had a record deal. Okay. In like mm. 2005, but it was a publishing deal. Okay. And I and I used to write records. So you, bro, I used to be in the studio with a lot of credited people. Lupe before he was popping, mm-hmm. Keisha Cole, like like real people. Like mm-hmm. before they were known, I was yeah. around, around them. So you already mm-hmm. had you know that music bug with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. And and I used to do all the open mics in the city. Used to run the pyramid. Used to run with Jay Hatch. Matter of fact, uh, my prayers out to Jay Hatch. I heard he's sick. Yeah. You know Praise. what I'm saying? Yeah, but like I used to do all that. So. Pyramid. When people oh, found out I battle rap, when people found out I battle rap, people was bugging. People was like, "What you doing? Nigga, you you had a deal. You you yeah. was, you know like I did TV before. I had did some things. Yeah. Yeah. I never would have imagined that that would open the door. Only yeah. thing I tell people from that experience is, be ready so you never got to get ready. Get ready. You exactly. know what I mean? I tr- I put my hands on on everything and then whatever whatever key opened whatever door that's what yeah. I went. Through. Kept going through and that. And those two years, yeah. I honed on my skills on battles. Yeah. I, I always was still making music, but once nice. that battle shit took off, I mean, it was so fast. It was the blink of an eye. Bro. Yeah. Next that's thing you know, I'm shooting like a video in the hood, bro, and it's 200, 300 people yeah. mm. pulling up, and I, I got the block lit. Niggas is like. Oh. Yeah, because like you saying, y'all was like that generation that branded yourselves and made it into the business that it is today. So you one of them that's in that, you know what I mean, Mount Rushmore, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. That's that's the reason that you are getting the opportunities that you're getting now. But Thank that's you. why I asked you about the music making part of it, because I didn't know that you was into that part of music before you got into the battle yeah. rap. So when we, when did you drop your first piece of real music album? When when did you do that? Oh, uh, I think 2010. It, might, it probably was 2010. I remember yeah. I dropped um Exception to the Rule and I had some good features on there at that mm-hmm. for the time too like my NYB bros, right. Math Hands Chambers, Shout uh, out to Math, Black man. De Niro. I had Babs on the album. I had Charlie Clips on the album. Mm-hmm. I had okay. DNA. So I kept my peers, especially the battle rap peers on the on the on the music because right. I felt like I made good music and I felt like my class actually made good, good music. music. Yeah. It was just we was already fighting a stigma. Stigma. One thing that worked for us is we, we became our own brands. That's right. So it wasn't like we had a label telling us what to do. Mm-hmm. Now that I sit back and I reflect and I look at things like Jen or I look at Mook when they had those opportunities of Sirius Jones. First off, they were kids. Mm-hmm. These guys didn't really have no life experiences to rap about. Yeah. And labels are putting them in the studio and saying rap. And niggas ain't really got no stories. Mm-hmm. So you saying they can't make music, but... Right, well, bro. Jay Z got his deal at almost thirty years old. Yeah. He had to have something to talk about first. Before you that. can rap, and then you can be an artist. People do not understand the difference between no. a rapper and an they artist. Don't. A rapper yeah. is gonna rap, 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 but it's not getting anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. An artist is gonna paint a picture that's and the, really yeah. give you a vision and let you feel the record. Once and that takes time. Yeah, that's does. the generation we in now with music. We in a rapper's generation. Yeah, you got singles all day with niggas rapping. Yeah, they rapping. Mm-hmm. It sounds good too, but you're not catching my ear with the substance that I want to hear. Yeah. Because like he said, we not young, you know what I'm saying? So we grew up at a time where we had storytellers. That's why I started with Corners. Mm-hmm. Because it's mm-hmm. you telling me a story about what you went through. Yeah. Especially in the US of A where everybody say, yo... Let's go get our freedom over here, land of the free and all this. Damn. And then when you get here, you be like, damn, I got to do so free. much other independent hustles to get that freedom. Exactly. Because they not giving you what they offering. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So with that song, you paint a picture of what a regular Latino or African-American dude got to go through when yeah. they get here. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I appreciated that song. That's fine. And yeah. that's why I appreciate the uh, the album. So let's talk about the album. Resolutions too. Resolutions. Uh, part two. Um, part one was really I wrote it during COVID, right? Yeah. During a real outbreak, and I felt like a lot of artists were just making music, but nobody was talking about the message or or really like speaking what what what's going on, you know? Mm-hmm. And uh, that was the mode that I that I, that I locked in for for mm-hmm. part one. Now with part two, I felt like. It's a lot of chaos now. It's yeah. like people are confused. People don't know what what's a vax, or, or people are arguing about if you should get the shot, don't get the shot. Uh, can we go to school? It's Close just every. School. It's all yeah. over the place. It's all mm-hmm. over the place. So it's much a lot information of confusion everywhere. Exactly. Yeah. So 
I felt like we're at a point where it's turn up time. Like people are on some shit. Like I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna do what yep. I want to do. Yep. You know, and I had to level up with this album. So I said, you know what? This is gonna be more aggressive. This yeah. album, yeah. this album Sound is gonna be way. more. I'm talking that shit. I'm talking that pain. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. and uh, I mean. Yeah, that's what everybody going through right now uh, in some type of way, some type of pain or just aggravation. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's very prominent in the album. The COVID, everything behind it. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? You giving the message of what are you going to do with this? You know what I'm saying? You personally, because everybody is telling you, telling you what to do. Yeah. You got to make your choices right now because mm -hmm. then... Now, even a couple of days, shit changes so fast oh, right now, man. especially with this COVID shit. This shit, like we made a vow not to talk about it on our show no if more. Somehow, right, somehow it comes up. This shit, yeah, because this shit is <laughs> this annoying. Shit don't go but, away. but um, yeah. Uh, so how many tracks is is, is on? Twelve. Twelve, 12 tracks, right? 12. I, I love that. that. That's that's the whole number for me on the album. Like I don't want to hear nothing past twelve, mm -hmm. unless it's a bonus track or something. And, I feel like in twelve you get your point across, you get out. You know so what I'm yeah, saying? yeah, um, you promoting Peter Pan trips right now with Millie's, for, yeah, yeah, for, for yeah. the album yeah. right now. Do y'all got a, a visual for that one yet? You're shooting that, I was just in Boston last week. I battled last week out there actually. Okay, and then um, we linked up, so we're gonna line up a video for like I'm doing a video for everything. You gonna mm -hmm. do a video for all everything? Okay. I might really try to. What I'm really trying to do is do like a mini movie, okay, around it and release it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Really film it, put a story behind it, and like, uh, like the streets is watching type mm -hmm. of shit. You know, that's what, what I thought about. Um, um, and I feel like visuals win you alone. Like people gonna fuck with the music, but the visuals is what's gonna stick around. Yeah, these yeah especially movies, in this area. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's really what I wanna uh push. You know yeah. what I mean? And uh. I just been trying to figure out certain ways to get these people included, and, and you know what I mean, like especially really different visuals. I, I feel like a lot of the visuals now, with especially with the drill, which mm -hmm. is prominent, it's the same shit. Yeah, it's the there's no respect through. though. It's no yeah, respect and, though. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so to even like like you say, provide art to it, and with the visuals, you got the you know already the music, but now watch it. Mm -hmm. play out like that's that's needed mm -hmm. yeah. you know what I'm saying so it's necessity I, now I wanted to ask about the production is it one you got one producer or you got a no, compilation got, of producers I, on I here? have a lot of producers that I have great relationships with yeah. uh, on this album is mostly my guy Crisis Crisis did about six or seven tracks on the because it sounds cohesive mm -hmm. yeah the sound is like what you describe in uh, chaos mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the the artwork shows that as well. The yeah, artwork. Yeah, yeah. The artwork is very primitive. If you look at part one, I had a, uh, I had Times Square empty at yeah. yeah. midnight. Mm -hmm. It was just empty, and you saw a couple masks laid on the floor, and it was mm -hmm. just like that was the mood. Nobody was going outside. You Shit know what was saying? I am legend it was out just here. Like crazy. <laughs> you know what I mean? You really think about it, yo. New Year's New is empty. Shut so down. So this time. Shit on fire, niggas outside. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I think I got outside. a little shadow banned a little bit because. There's yeah. certain times I done posted the fly and it ain't really click. And I'm like, yeah. man, are they shadow banning me for this shit? Yeah. Like, for real. It's you know what I'm saying? It could yeah. be. You know, but, uh, you know, one thing One thing I will say is that uh, I'm very, very particular with my beats mm -hmm. and the cohesiveness of an album. Like, I like it to flow a certain way and be in a certain uh, uh, order. Yeah. Uh, that's one thing I take pride in and... You saying that right now lets me know, like, all right, cool, like, yeah, because even mean, you I got, even yeah, the you even got the, yeah, the features. You Line even got that. the ladies. You got like two ladies records on here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I like, appreciate those, mm -hmm. but the features I appreciate a lot. Like Thank you me. said, Flea Lord, shout out to him. What, what was it like? Did, did you work in the studio with Flea? Oh, um, me and Flea actually, we 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 worked with, it, with 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 a couple people now that we've been in the studio a lot more. Mm -hmm. Once we did the record. Then, then we really started like clicking. Like I went to a show the other day. We okay. smoked, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. once we vibe, and that's the one thing I like about it. Everybody that's on the record, I fuck with. Mm -hmm. Like I just yeah. fuck with them. Like Ito, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Ito, Millie's, Millie's. I've been known Millie's before. That's, he got you popping. got my guys on this you know what shit, what I'm man. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, everybody. On like you know, and and that's another thing I wanted to show people. Like like, and even they have said it. They say, "Yo, niggas can't fuck with you, son. Niggas be battle rapping, but on the music call, you different." So mm -hmm. me them them showing me like 
I'm rubbing elbows with with, with some spitters, yeah. with some killers. Yeah, yeah. that's you a fact. You know what I mean? And they yeah. sitting in there like, oh nah, like he's 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 wilding. Yeah, you know what I mean? And and that just lets people know, like, all right, he's doing the right thing. I'm in the right space with the right type of individuals. Yeah, I, I feel like you falling right into that that circuit that I create. I call it the Greater New York mm-hmm. with like Flea Lord, uh, Griselda. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm uh, Rock, Rocky mm, Marcy. Rock I, I love all. I tell you, these are the people that need to get the recognition yeah. right now, not yeah. later. Like right now, classics out and all so, that. How do you yeah, feel yeah. about that movement, though? How do you really feel about this I've, movement? I've been following this movement for what's this twenty two? Yeah. Um, Pre COVID, probably two years before COVID. I, it started like with Griselda. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Conway shit. is my favorite rapper right now. I tell you, I hosted Conway's battle. Go Google Conway. Conway had a battle in 2014. I've missed Conway three times. Yeah. He came here to Fuego Studios, which, which mm-hmm. we're going to talk about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was tight with Mike. I was, yeah, I was like, Mike, you ain't, you ain't going to call me? <laughs> me. You know, you know this, my dude. Uh-huh. You know? Um, and then I think it was. Uh, at uh, his show, mm-hmm. they had a, they last show in the city. The Sony yeah. oh, yeah. Theater. SOB. No, yeah. not SOBs. The la- I think it was like in oh, no, September. That was the one he talked about, Sony Theater. Yeah, yeah, I ain't go. We I forgot. Shit, yeah, I, was, I had to. I was getting because we caught we caught uh, Benny at SOBs. SOBs. Yeah, but yeah, I love, I love I love I love it. This, this, that's what I listen to more than anything. Like that's my go to. Yeah. So. Core, Core is the one that comes to me with those type. Like in two thousand six, two thousand seven, he came up to me with K Dot. Yeah, He's I'm like, like yo, yo TDE, bro, this is the new shit. He always coming to me with. It's my ear. Yeah, you know, that's I, his. That's his study. Like he loves hip hop. He was on Kendrick that early. That early. Hell yeah. He, was, he wasn't was even shit. Kendrick Lamar. He was just. That K-Dot. was the O D. Yeah, him and Project. Pac yeah. Div and. And, and then all, I fell in yeah. love with it, with Ab So, but. But um. I but said yeah, that, you give me that feel of hip hop where is is story is storytelling is you. As a person, you know what I'm saying? It's Personally, street rap. yeah, it's street rap, you know what I mean? But it has, it has way more lyrics to anything that anybody's doing right now, you know what Thank I'm saying? There's a lot of substance in it. It's yeah, like I didn't want to, I didn't, yeah. I didn't want to, like Griselda created a lane. Yeah. They created a lane. They allowed people to rap again. Yeah. And, and show people, like, look, nigga, you can still get your bread. You don't have to conform. Mm-hmm. And that was a one thing that I really had. I say, yo, I like to party, I like to do all that, but. What is it that people want to hear from Cortez? They want to hear me spit. They want yeah. to hear me rap. So I have to fight that with myself yeah. mm-hmm. and learn how to balance it. And they've allowed me to do that. Where it's like I can still talk my shit here and yeah. there, sprinkle little things, but it's still me. Yeah. It's still this is Cortez. This isn't nobody else. It ain't and it's false. allowing me to create my space. And now people that are listening to my albums and they're sitting and they're like. Yo, I fuck with this. Like, genuinely. Yeah. Yeah. And and like I say, man, like, it's, it's just a blessing. It's like, I put a lot of work into this. And still battling at the same time. Yeah, so it's like, crazy. Mm-hmm. I was going to get mean? back to that. Like, uh-huh. you, you just said you battled in Boston. It's yeah. like, like, why? That's what I ask you now. Cause I, I, I want to see it. I'm you know chasing what I'm saying? the but chicken, bro. I'm, I, cha- okay, well, I'm not turning down on that. Yeah, give me that. <laughs>